at Judo King Boxing School. Uh, we want to know what is uh, school about it, what is the style, where it comes from, um, what is the difference between our regular traditional martial art. Um, if you can explain a little bit, please. All right, okay, the, the JKB or Judo King Box. Um, the founder, uh, founder was uh, Carlos Finales and Enrique Tate at that time. Uh, and I won't more time than people in the family. Uh, from that time, this time, they, they mixed the judo techniques with a kickbox with a kickbox technique. Now, the kickbox, the kickbox that we use in, in, in JKB is not, okay, is, okay, the judo kickbox is a classic. The combination of, of karate and boxing, uh -huh. right? But then... Uh, Cuban boxing, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Carlos, uh, um, Eric Castaño, uh, he was the, the, the master that used the part, uh, that covered the part of uh, the stand-up fight. Okay. You know, the kickboxing. Striking. Exactly, combining the traditional kickboxing with the Muay Thai, right? So, then Carlos Finales, he's a, a, a master from uh, karate too, judo too, uh, self defense too, and he covered the part of the judo. Okay, so he knows uh, to be boxing too. And one day he was training and he figured it out training kickboxing that to the kickboxing he can mix the kickboxing with, uh, with the judo using a bag and he tried to, to do a, a throw a, a throw to the, to the bag. And then he realized that the mix will happen. He talked to see, to uh, Master um, Eric, and he was agreeing and they would start working for that time. Okay, when they come to me, and and, and, and I know about this, I, I right away I hook up with a with a star because I tell you know with eight years old, and I always combine throwing punches, kicking, you know, uh, dirty karate in Cuba, and and everything was perfect uh, uh, for me. Uh, the difference between between uh, Traditional martial arts in European box is that we use gi uniform. This is a, 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 a MMA style. It's a mixed martial arts. Mixed art. martial arts style. And for what I heard, the first Cuban mixed martial arts. The art. first Cuban mixed martial arts, definitely. Then um, we, um, we Carlos and, and Eric, they incorporate, incorporate the gi because we need it. Okay. For the throws. For the throws. And the ground fight. Now, the big advantage that we have in a in Giro Kick Box is that we can go to any kind of tournament. Okay. We can go to boxing tournament, we can go to kickboxing tournament, we can go to Judo tournament, we can go to Jiu Jitsu tournament, we can go to grappling tournament, to kickboxing tournament. So we have a lot of advantages compared with, uh, with Judo okay. by itself, with kickboxing by itself, with Kung Fu by itself, you know, with uh, different, uh, incluso with MMA. MMA, they can just compete maybe in grappling. Mm -hmm. or wrestling nah. and maybe more time exactly but it's hard because they don't they're not they don't they never go in deep into into one specific st uh, uh, style or element of fight right here we have if we see it over here we, if we use the five principal uh, elements of fighting kicks punches throws straight down and ground fight and we use it as a chain reaction right so the meaning of your reaction, if you notice in MMA and, and, and all the different uh, martial arts, is that they stop. They punch, they kick, but they stop. One, they grab each other, but they don't know really how to throw each other. And one take the other one maybe by accident with a little uh, force, and the other by, by mistake of the other, and they reach the, uh, the ground, then they train on the ground a little bit. But the transition from the stand up to the ground, they're not, they don't have it. That they don't have it. I noticed that they too. They don't, they don't have it. And Most you see the them. guys hooks with everything and they don't know how to throw the person. Which is it's, it's not so hard when you know the technique. And when you train the technique, you know, if you're training the transition between stand up and, and in the ground, doesn't matter how you call it, jiu-jitsu or BJJ or wrestling or ground fight, I, I love to call ground fight. Because I incorporate and uh, we incorporate in the ground every technique that we think from our point of view that is effective on the ground. Don't call me that, that's from BJJ, or don't call me no, that's from, from wrestling, or that's from, hey, the body's only one. That's true. And the limitations are the same. 
you know, and, and, and the movement are the same, more or less, maybe a little more pass, or not more flexibility or not, but they were the same. So I don't, uh, that's what I call ground fight, right? In the ground, in the JKB, we use ground fight. The basic is from judo. Okay. But we incorporate a lot of new things to, to make it better. To make it better. To make it better. To make it more complete, yeah. Clark, of course. Right? Uh, so it was founded, the JKB was founded on Cuba on 2002, right? No, uh, the JKB was founded here. In the United States? In the United States. Okay. Okay, but in 2012, okay. this is when it started spreading out. Uh, you know, so mm -hmm. in, in, in Cuba. Okay, how many schools do you have in Cuba right now, more in or less? In Cuba, uh, I, I'm not really sure. Carlos and, and, and Eric, they're more connected with those, with those, with those masters. But uh, I know, like in a state, in some provincia. Mm -hmm. There are provincia in, 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 in Cuba. There are 14 provincia, like states. Uh -huh. And we are, I think, in, in 10 or 11 or something like that. I also heard that you guys have like 500 athletes in total. Yes. Yes. That, that, that one, I, I, I don't know exactly how many schools, because you know, there's school that they're incorporating the JKB system. So you know, it's not just that like this school is the first JKB school. Okay. Only JKB school. Then, okay. So that's why I, I, but the athletes, yes, we have a lot of athletes there. Okay. Training just for uh, through the JKB system to, to, to compete. Okay. And so also they, they, they have a, a tournament coming up in, in, in March. We want to bring some fighters from Cuba to fight MMA here. Nice. You know, so let's see what happens. Let me know. Yeah, let's see what happens. It's gonna be March 7th. Um, so now we're gonna see uh, an example of what's the style about and probably one technique so Grandmaster can explain it here. Master Fragel Hernandez at the Judo Kickboxing School. This is the, the first Q and mixed martial art. Master Fragel, um, what is the, yeah, the if address? You wanna, if you want to uh, train a uh, uh, full JKB, that's uh, we call the Judo Kickbox. Uh, this is the place. The address is 12491 Southwest, 134 Court, Miami, Florida, 33186. And uh, the door 28. We've been here from Monday through Friday from 5. Tonight. One thing about the style that I got to experience myself is remember it's a striking, defense, takedowns, ground fighting, so it covers all the, uh, the areas, you know, it covers everything. Plus you get the fitness benefit from practice a martial art, the health, fitness, uh, so it's a good place to train. So for anything, just contact Master Fabio Hernandez, information is going to be below in the comments. Thank you very much, Master. Thank you, sir. Thank you.